You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time to do some decorating with the Deco Party from Takara Tomi Arts. And you are able to decorate your pokey with it. In, uh, of course, I've never used it. It looked interesting on Amazon. Found it on a just a unrelated search, and it came up. And here we are. Step one. It looks like you do some kind of winding up. Step two, decorate. Step three, display. Now the back, I couldn't get much information here mainly because I can't read it. But I'll leave it like that and someone can actually uh, maybe help out. There's some temperature ranges in there. Not sure, maybe about your frosting. And then at girls party for birthday cake or for a sweet present. All the different ways you can use your decorated pokey. Let me uh, cut this up here. Now, I had uh, guessed that it doesn't come with any of the supplies. Wait, there's one more. Look, there's a insert page and then a big cardboard. Let's see what's in that, if there's anything in there. Empty tube. Must just take up space in the box. So... I'm on my own to figure this out. Let's just see. Oh, there's pictures. Pictures help. It looks as though... Okay, here's the display stand. Here's how you put it together. So let's get all the pieces out. Get my scissors in here. There's those pieces. And your main little maker. Right, that looks simple enough. Based on the picture, here's your display stand, which goes this way. And then this I can tell clips into here. Let's just uh, look at the instructions together. It's nice to have everybody with me. It's kind of like you're telling me what to do and I'm listening to you. So there. And then this looks like uh, it just sits on. I could just tell just by looking at it right away. See that? That just sits in. And then, as you could see, it's got the words pokey all over the base. And there's a stop on. Ooh, maybe it's different directions. That goes one way. Nope, we'll just have to see. And then the winder. Looks like there's a winder here. This pushes on. Let's test this theory here. What's this way? So it's spinning this way. Let's see it this. So that's going the opposite direction. That's kind of neat. And then what looks to be, let me just analyze all these pieces. Uh, there's three different size inserts. Maybe it's for, okay, that doesn't go in there. That doesn't go in there. Ooh, this goes in there. Okay. Oh, I see. So the ones that are shaped like this go in on this end. I wonder why. Maybe for different size sticks. That could very well be. But they all go in and there. And maybe depending on the size of the pokey stick you have will determine which one of those and it would only make sense then that these have different size ends as well. So I'd put them in here. And then probably depending on which kind you're using will determine which piece. So I need to get my other supplies. So let me do that. I probably should just rinse off the parts. I'll rinse off these parts here and come back and get started. Okay, here we go. And everybody, please bear with me because I can't read... What's being said here, but I wanted to show you what's being said here. So if you can read this and you're trying to, you know, help me out, then go ahead. But I'm just going to go visually by what I see in the picture. So there is some information. You can always pause and enlarge. And this was the other side that I had taken to get the... Can you see that? And then how the parts laid out. Once I figured that out visually... I think I have a better understanding. 
And then uh, basically it looks like they have the frostings in a cup. So I just did that with a little warm water. And then uh, I'm just going to follow through and try it. I got three different flavors here in the background. And uh, we'll give it a shot. So basically let me take uh, one of the chocolate ones first. I have a bunch more pokey in the background here. So I was looking at these inserts now. And it looks as though three different sizes. You pick the size that best fits the one you have. Like that's really tight. So that one's no good. This one here fits nice. This one here is way too big. So we cannot use that one. So let's stick this piece in. All right. And then uh, let's see. Now the back piece. I'm just uh, getting a little out of sorts here. There, more room. But when I have the different you know accent pieces these came from another kit but I thought I usually keep this kind of stuff so I have it for videos like this when I need decorations so let me put those into the bowls uh, this is from one of the crazy kits so if you want to check out what they are I have a video there and there's some cool little circular beads it's all edible some little squares and then the sprinkles okay so then now I check the second side that connects on the other side and to see if this fit now this one was snug almost too snug this one way too big and this one just right so I'm not sure if, how it needs to hold it in so I'm gonna have to just test you're learning with me here I have no idea what kind of pressure it takes and if it's gonna spin or not so let's wind it up I might have to just really push them in with those other ones so let's see okay so it looks like the pressure from here to here is what's uh, helping it spin let me stop this wind it up again so basically just winding it up like that if I feel like there's a point where it's going to start to click it's almost right about there I'm going to stop and then I will turn it on again I'm just testing here now let me get one of my frostings I have two frostings sitting in a bowl with water and I have just white I'm going to work it a little bit with my finger, and these are brand new, but I don't want to put a huge hole on the end, so I'm going to actually just take my tweezers, and I'm going to put a hole through without cutting too much of the tip, because I don't want it too open. So here's what it's coming out now. So let me put a little bit on a piece of plastic here to make sure I get a nice line. That's what I want. So, oops, get back in there. So let's try. This will be our first attempt. Turn it off. I'm not sure the best way for me to hold this just yet. There was that click. A little too far on that one. So I'm going to start from the top. And I think I'm just going to hold it up here and work my way down. And we'll see how it works. Okay, I'm okay with that. Now if I stop it, I should be able to go in the opposite direction and get a crisscross, right? Or do I just take that one out? Yeah, let me do that. I have one that actually looks good so far. So I'm going to hold it here, pull this out, and stick it in the back. And we'll test up another one here. And then I'll decorate that in just a second. I want to do... One more, then I'll decorate a few and we'll keep testing here. So 
the winding up again. Let me get you a little closer. And I guess, of course, the quicker you spin or move down, the tighter that that uh, that line will be. So let me do it again. I'm ready to go, and now I will give it a shot. Now I'm going tighter. Okay, I'm going to stop that one. Now, unfortunately, this is the only color frosting I had. I'm going to wind it up again. And then I'm going to go in the opposite direction. Ooh, it doesn't like that. Okay, it's not liking that for whatever reason. I feel like it wants to engage. Let me see. So that way it's fine. Yeah, not as good that direction. I don't want to force it. Okay, so I can't do that technique. So let me just... Uh, Wind it up again. Now at this point, I could actually add decorations, or I can add them, and I probably just spin it and drop them on. Let me do that. Don't stop. There we go. There you go, that looks pretty good. Now I probably can also now, ooh, there was a heart, can you see the heart? Okay, let me stop it. So let's say I wanna be really fancy and I could take different colors now and decorate them like this and then place them up and down or however I want to decorate the tip is sticky again the tip gets sticky there you go and I can keep going all the way up let me throw a purple in there. Oh, let me grab another pink. My purple slipped out of my hand. So I think you get that idea. Bob, you probably want me to just finish it, right? Okay. Get that yellow out of there. I ate it. All right, come on now. Ooh, that one might not stick. Not sure if there's enough frosting on the end. But I think you get it. That's one way. I could have looped it all the way around. So let me put this one in the back. Let me bring in a white one. Okay. I would like to see why it's not going in the opposite direction. So bear with me here. I'm going to wind this up again. Okay. Oh, it's working now. Maybe I just didn't have it in far enough. Let's see if I have enough time now. I might have to rewind it here. Let's 
This would be neat if you had uh, pink frosting and yellow frosting, and you can really go pretty crazy here. You wind that up again. Let's see if I can do a reverse. Yeah, see, now it doesn't want to work. I wonder if it's just got too much frosting on it or something. Yep. No go. So let me add a second line onto this one. Because this is working. So I'll go in between the other one now. Hard to know where that starts, but there we go. That's pretty neat. There. Pretty cool. Let me put some of these on. Now these, they're small, but I can just sprinkle them around now. And if I want, I can just turn that on and do this. Let me wind it back up. And maybe do it like on a tray or a plate or something so that you always have it picking up your extra stuff that drops. There, I think that looks pretty cool. Okay, so there's another one. I did want to show one thing in the directions. Now, I wasn't sure. Let me see. I noticed this. Um, it almost looked like... Um, well, here they're showing you putting the frosting on. It looks like it's starting way at the tip and then just working your way down. Or they're saying put some in the tip. I'm not sure. But this is the design. Here's the crisscross design I was trying to achieve but couldn't get it. But let me do this. Let me start and see put this one in the back that came out pretty neat what do you think about that so let me uh, take one of these tropical fruit versions and do the reverse first and see if the weight I know it sounds silly but I want to find out I guess I could help it along too, but it's going to be uneven and unsteady. I'm using my finger as you can see. Alright. So now let me stop it and go the other way. Ooh, might have to wind up. Let me wind it up. It's really all about your pacing and how you pace it across. If you miss, you miss. There, that is the crisscross. So let me um, decorate that one. I think I like, I think I'll put some hearts. Let me get them out of here. And then I'm just going to place a heart at a crisscross point. Let me just go a little bit. Oh, here, I'll do one here. I might be able to just use my fingers because my tweezers are getting sticky. Let me spin this a little. Just keep putting them around. But I think you understand. I get to a certain point where 
I think everybody understands and they get it. Sure, you can watch me decorate here for the next hour or so, but I want it right here. Okay, I think I'm done with that one. Let me take it out. Let me, uh, what I'm going to do now is just clean up a little bit and then take a look at what we have and maybe decorate a little bit more on the ones on the back because I think I can be a little more creative than that. And we'll pull them in closer and take a look at them. So I'll check right back in. Okay, so here's what I have so far. I made the four in front of you. And for my first time, I'm happy with that. So if I want to, I could also do additional decorating. I don't have to have it on the machine. I can take that and add a little heart to the top if I want. And remember, the decorations and the frosting do not come with it, so it's all really up to you on what you want to do. So if it's Valentine's, you could do Valentine's decorations. You can come back and add dots all the way around it after it's off this machine that gives you the spiral. Because basically, this is giving you a spiral so that you can decorate it, right? So there you go. I think I need to eat one. I think I will try this one here. Did you get a good look at them up close? That is the deco party. And thanks for watching. It's really appreciated. And check that description below for other cool stuff. Mm. It adds a new twist to the poke. Later. If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching. And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.